Hello everyone, my name is Vaibhav Mittal and uh, today I'm going to be talking about my project that is Geospatial Sentiment Analysis. The presentation is divided into two parts, the first one being a brief overview of the project and then followed by a small demo video. Now the contents of the overview will contain a small introduction to the problem statement followed by the definition of sentiment analysis then why Twitter is an integral part of this project and lastly the solution and the algorithm. So as it can be seen from the title, the task is to implement a sentiment analysis tool with an option of condensing the results based on the geography. Now the big question here is what is sentiment analysis? As it can be seen, it is the ability to extract identify and quantify any subjective information that means extracting meaning out of vague sentences or maybe vague text documents and uh, it can be done in several techniques however i've listed few of them here the first one being the language processing that i've used in this project and maybe text analysis computational linguistics or biometrics now the need for sentiment analysis arises from the fact that it dissolves the barrier of customized solutions for individuals. It can also be useful in deciphering associations between different categories of interests. So once we know what is sentiment analysis, the next question is how do we get those sentiments? That is where Twitter comes into the picture. As per many news articles, the data is going to be the next big thing in the near future. And Twitter is a platform that can guarantee that authentic data stream. Now, Twitter has 1.3 billion accounts with 310 million active users that is growing on a monthly basis. Out of those users, around 72% user base is engaged in opinions. That means around 41% is giving opinions or the rest 31% is asking for opinions. That is the main reason why we are shifting to Twitter because Opinions are the ones that will help us classify the sentiments. Another important aspect is like, while these may be opinions, the best part is they are contained in 140 characters. So at max, we have to decipher a couple of sentences with a lot of targeted and important words rather than going through vague, vague lines. And lastly, Twitter provides tools to assess raw data and it can be easily integrated with the Python environment. So moving to the algorithm that I've used in this project, we have two kinds of, we have two kinds of Twitter files that is, that is labeled with us. The first one being the positive files and the second one being the negative files. It is a huge data set that contains tweets from different ranging topics and has been marked positive or negative based on the user experience. From that data, we extract the features and pass it through a supervised machine learning algorithm that gives us a text classifier through which if we run our unlabeled tweets, we can classify them into positive or negative in real time. However, the most important part of the project is language processing and training that data. So once we have those label training sets, we extract the features from that text. <clears throat> now, what does feature extraction means? Basically, we are breaking down the sentence and extracting the keywords that will help us decide whether, whether a particular kind of word exists as a positive feature or as a negative feature. Now, this is done through the language processing toolkit. The first part being the tokenization. That means if I have a sentence that contains a lot of words, so each word will be treated, treated as a different token. And after that, I use my part of speech tagging to tag them into nouns, verbs, adjectives, as you can see in the image, the sentence, the bird pecks the grains has been divided into determiners, nouns, verbs, etc. From that, I can create a dictionary of, uh, dictionary of words with their frequencies as to how many times they occur and can be used as my feature to make a positive and a negative dictionary. Once I have that kind of data, I can use it for my classification algorithms. 
In this project, I have used seven, uh, seven classification algorithms that I'll be discussing in my demo video. But basically, they can be uh, they can be put into two categories: the probabilistic, such as naive Bayes, or linear, such as support vector machines. Now, since I have used seven seven different classifiers, I need to have a vote as to decide whether the particular tweet goes into a positive sentiment or the negative sentiment. That's why after collecting all the all the classifier results, I take a vote into account as to finally where, where the tweet will go to and I re and release it with the confidence that this this percentage this is the percentage of confidence that I have in particular tweet I've kept the accuracy of the of the classifier to 75 percent it can be altered as per the user demands however a number close to 70 75 percent is the exact requirement for proper sentiment analysis because it has been shown in results that even humans don't agree on 20 to 30 percent of the topics that they that they know and or that they say so that is why that number has been chosen and uh, finally moving to the results as you can see on the left image there are 10664 feature sets and the tweets as they come along as you can see in the red box that is marked there i have put out the negative tweet along with the confidence that is that means that I, am, I can say with the 100% confidence that the tweet is negative. On the right side, there is a graph that shows the, the real life data collection of the, of the tweets and it plots as, as the tweet gets collected. I'll show a functioning of that in the demo video. So for this overview, this will be it. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I hope you liked it.